Oh, that's my okay. This is Anna, this is Fong. Um, this piece we wrote for our mothers um, during our graduation. We all graduated from UC Berkeley last year. Um, and this was a tribute to our mothers, and we're here to share this with you tonight. So we hope you enjoy. Zomotu meru gonu Nam kan chai tuk du nam kan with the autumn wind, the mother lullies her child to sleep in five measures of the night. She stays awake all mo hai ba mong nam measures. Mo. Other moms may greet their kids with kisses brushing their cheeks and a leather bound Ben's minivan to whisk them from school to home, asking how their day went, responding with nods, smiling on cue, driving home without one complaint or concern. But when we drag ourselves to the living room door to drop off 500 pounds of textbooks, essays, problems of the week, our moms grab our face between the vice of thumb and four fingers, tell us, and chocolate, no, gong mong mong. Stop eating chocolate, you're sprouting pimples. Scold us to remove our shoes and place them parallel to one another, perpendicular to the door outside, because they bring dirt onto our disheveled dirt brown carpet. We roll our eyes, we plug our ears, yet our nostrils open up at the smell of pho. Food always waits for us, saying, I love you, even when our moms don't say it even when they It'll don't show, show it the way, way other moms do. First bite focuses eyes beyond her rebellious 80s white teen girl dressing ways, rocking ruffles like she got casted as Hamlet, flinging earrings oh, like she was Linda Chang Dai from Paris Ooh. by Night, styling retail $200 high heels straight off the discount rack with her 50% each double coupon deals. The food of our mom's endless labor, coating the inner sphere of our stomach like a Pepto-Bismol commercial, reminds us that even without the seasonings, yes, hold the Dundan, sriracha sauce, Duke mom, green han, slice of chan, because their, their love is just, just right. Hi. When she doesn't cook, she sews with sturdy, weathered hands. She sews with sincerity and confidence. confidence. Each stitch landing in exactly it. the right place. Sometimes prom dresses just don't fit in a big family budget. So she looks at store rack samples, sews overnight, working her non-stop magic. Humming lullabies from mm -hmm. olden times to the hum of a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. And creates a masterpiece that fits, fits it just right. right. She sews us together at the seams between our generations, reconciling language barriers and cultural misunderstandings that get stretched so thin they eventually break. And when those seams break and need repair, she sews back the buttons and redoes the stitching, making it stronger than ever before, ready to be stretched and challenged again. So from Halloween shark costumes, to dresses, class projects, to the freedom flag of our homeland, culture show set pieces, to the, sto to the stoles that we wore on our graduation day, she, she sews, sews together and nurtures the scenes in our lives. Bye. Alright, y'all remember 90 family sitcoms like Full House, Family Matters, Home Improvement, and the most famous of them all, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> We grew up watching after school in between dinner family shows. So they gotta mean something, right? Entire four year stays at UC Berkeley, I performed intensive research deducing every single 90 sitcom into one holistic summary. One. Kids wanna do something, parents don't let them do it. Two. They do it anyway. Three. Everything that can go wrong goes wrong. Pa parents catch them, they get angry, parents have an epiphany, go for a long talk, kids apologize, parents apologize. Always do that for you, son. I love you, mom. Hugs, kisses, and the credits start rolling. This, this doesn't, doesn't look, look like, like our family. Vietnamese mother love doesn't always look pretty with Skittle rainbows. It's not parent-child talks with loving background music, with Disney Channel smiles and corny lines of life philosophies. See, our parents practice what we call assertive guidance. 
In America, people call it child abuse. But you know, what, what do they know? You know, whatever. Mothers use tools of love with all authority, such as the fly swatter. Feather duster. Broomsticks without the broom? Chopsticks. Chopsticks, bump. Uh, the big one, the stir fry kind. Oh, yeah, you know, the big one. Yeah. In our mother's eyes, it's proper parenting. Um, the acts of love may be misinterpreted as statements of violence. For example, thou send out my joint. <laughs> Directly translated means, I will kick you until you die. But, in mother's love language, it means, I will teach you with all my strength. My civic tai tao. Means you're about to know the back of my hand. You will grow familiar with the caress of a motherly touch. Joy, uh, I told you about you got more. No, you might. Oh my god, I have never met a child as, as like you. I will never have a child quite as special as you. <laughs> These words leave scars on our hearts, traumatizing reflexes on nervous-stricken muscle to never step out of line of what mama says. The pain that she inflicts on us is nothing to the pain that she feels every single day. Bon, faded photographs of her family pose in front of a camera on a stand. Memories of homeland sketch in sepia tone and worn white caps remind her of a life before. Communist warfare in the south. Escape on motorboats reeking of gasoline. Pirates stealing the last of her food, her drink, her sisters. Moving from refugee camp to refugee camp to unknown terrain. Having to start life all over again. Working six days a week, 15 hours a day, every single month of the year. Hard arthritis hand crushed, carcinogen poison paint for fingernail glimmer. Yes. Uh, on the desk of her workstation. Faded 4x6 photographs, scattered with 35mm negatives, hidden for safekeeping in a drawer, show our eyes avert from hers behind the lens, blowing bubbles, laughing, smiling with our chubby arms bouncing, remind her, we, we will, will never, never suffer, suffer the, the way, way she, she did. did. Now. When you drink the water, remember the source. It makes me understand. Father's will is like the mountain Thai sun. Mother's love is like water. From a spring flowing forth. She no longer lullies us to sleep, tucking us in and kissing us goodnight. But she will always be there. Not just with the autumn wind, but when the confronting tornado earthquakes, landslides and wildfires through measures, days, months, years. Drought, the sacrifice our mothers make for us to never thirst. Waves crashing down on us like fly swatters and stir fry chopsticks. Streams connecting and nurturing our lives generations at a time. Rain, abundant like the food she brings to our table every day. There is no way to give the way she has given to us. But through the words of this poem, we honor her unconditionally. unconditionally. Thank, Thank you, you, Mother. Come on, man.